Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So as you can see, I have a shopping video for you guys. I know it's been such a long time since I've done one of these. I actually love doing these videos and I love perfume shopping. But of course, with the situation, it's very difficult to do so. But I managed to go out the other day and film a video doing some shopping. This is actually at um, a chemist called Crowdvat in the Netherlands. I like shopping here because, you know, I go here often for my own personal shopping for soaps and toothpaste and all that stuff. But they also have a great perfume selection with budget fragrances. And, you know, sometimes I find stuff here um, that, you know, are really great deals. So yeah, at this particular location, they had quite a big selection of uh, perfumes. And as you can see here, the prices for the most part are pretty good. Um, I did pick something up after the shopping trip. So I'll reveal that later on in a future video. But let's see what we have here. CK into you. Um, I think that's the men's version, but I have heard good things about the women's version. It's something that um, I've seen here and there, but uh, I never actually felt the need to test it myself. But then now that I've heard um, good reviews about it and, and uh, uh, now I'm curious about it. So hopefully I can test that sometime. Um, unfortunately, when you shop at this place, uh, there are no tester bottles. So you basically have to blind buy things. <laughs> so Euphoria, Calvin Klein, love that one. I had a decant of that, a few of them actually, and I got those, I got through those really, really quickly. Um, it's just one of those fragrances where you can just wear them uh, every day, kind of like an easy reach scent. Here's Prada Candy Low. I did finish a, finish a bottle of that late last year, or maybe was it this year? Uh, really enjoyed that. It's 25 euros for 30 mil. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I would repurchase. Well, I do really like it, but I have so many other fragrances to, to use up, so I passed on the Prada Candy. And now the next one here, Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Assoluto. I've heard good things about this one too as a great, um, I think it's a white floral scent. I did really enjoy the original Roberto Cavalli in the gold bottle, that orange blossom scent. So I am very curious about the house, um, but I haven't gotten around to test a lot of their stuff. Here is Kenzo Amore. I think that one I talked about in a video before and it's quite similar to Hypnotic Poison, although it's not an exact dupe or anything. So some guest perfumes right there and then Marc Jacobs Daisy, which I'm sure all of you uh, are familiar with. I actually like the bottles, they're super cute to have. <laughs> I did. I do own one Marc Jacobs perfume. It's the Marc Jacobs uh, Daisy Oh So Fresh Spring. Um, I haven't reviewed it yet though, but hopefully I can. Here's some Dolce & Gabbana Dolce fragrances. I've been hearing a lot of good things about the garden version here, which is, you can see here, I think that's a big bottle for $34.99. Good price. I think if I remember correctly, it's an almond fragrance. Uh, maybe it's similar to Hypnotic Poison as well. Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, here's Chopard Pink Wish. Another house that I haven't really been paying attention to very much. Oh, sorry if that made you dizzy. <laughs> so here we have some more fragrances. Hmm. This one is uh, Davidoff Cool Water Sea Rose. Yet another house that I haven't been paying attention to. I do like the men's version of the old school 
cool water. I really enjoy that one. I did smell it a lot on um, the guys at, in uh, high school, <laughs> along with CK1, which is another fantastic fragrance. Art and Beauty. I do own that one. It's a very nice green, fresh spring flower kind of scent. Asian Provocateur Fatal Intense, 10 euros. I think, I, if I remember right, I think that one people say is close to Mugler Angel. Katy Perry's Indie, a musky scent. Um, I'm not a fan of Katy Perry. Maybe that's why <laughs> I haven't really tested her stuff. Green Tea Fig. I checked the price on those ones. They're only $4.99. I'm still using my other green tea fragrance, the Pear Blossom, though. This fragrance here, I'm quite curious about Oxygen L'Enfant by L'Enfant. And I checked the notes on it, and... It's like a peppery, lactonic, milky, musky scent. Very curious. That sounds actually really nice. And uh, I did see it later on for about 10 euros. So maybe that's like something I can blind buy at some point. <laughs> by the way, if you guys see anything in here that I missed or if you would have picked it up, I would love to know which ones uh, that you would pick up from what you see here. Because I guess I can always go back and uh, make a, do a blind buy on it <laughs> and see how it is uh, based on your recommendations. So here is Yop Ohm, 10 euros, quite a good price for that. Classic 90 cent. I don't really remember what it smells like, but I remember it being very, very sweet. So here is the Oxy Oxygen L'Enfant again. There's a men's version and that's the women's version. Jill Sander number four. If I think that one smells like Chanel Coco a bit. <laughs> I have a sample of that one that I've been meaning to talk about on a, on the, in a video at some point, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Here's uh, that Jill Sander one again, 15 euros for, I think that was 30 mils. Gucci Guilty, 30 euros. And another Calvin Klein one here for 20 euros. I always see that one on clearance, wherever I go. <laughs> Even at the TK Maxx, I think I saw it. But in general, I, I really do like Calvin Klein fragrances. I think that for the most part, they're like easy to wear, everyday kind of scents, very pleasant. Now here's some Mugler fragrances. That, that was Angel Muse EDT. I believe that was $39.99. Ah, and then we have the beautiful Alien O Extraordinaire. 30 mils, $27.99. Love that one, you guys. I'm just finding that um, I'm reaching from, I'm oh, sorry, I'm reaching for that a lot. <laughs> I've only had it for a short while and I did already put a big dent in that one already. So love that scent. Unfortunately, it's discontinued now from what I hear. So yeah, that's kind of sad. <laughs> that was Girl of Now from Elisab. Very popular scent. I think it smells all right. It smells pretty nice, but on my skin, it kind it kind of gets funny in the dry down, so it didn't really work out for me. There's another Euphoria scent. That's a fragrance that does work for me. Such a beautiful, sweet, um, berry-like floral scent. This is one of my all-time favorite cheapy fragrances, Limperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. Definitely like one of my top five, top five cheapies of all time. Then they have the smaller bottles. This is a bigger bottle of that, but they also have the 50 mils and I didn't see a price on that one. So yeah, that one I've had for such a long time. Oh, maybe such, a, I don't even know, maybe like over 10 years 
I've had it in my collection. Um, I've gone through a bottle already <laughs> and I'm on my other one. And uh, I really enjoy that, especially for the summer season. So that says top 10 perfumes, Lancome Idol, thirty four ninety nine. And then they have the Roberto Cavalli. That's the one that I like, the orange blossom one. This one is Dolce & Gabbana, the one flanker essence. I don't think I've tried that one. 40 euros for, it looks like a big bottle there. And then Dolce Shine by Dolce & Gabbana. Haven't tried that one. La Vie Belle. Zadig & Voltaire, this is her. Love that one. Very powdery, milky clean musky scent and then we have valentino valentina i think it's called ecstatic by balmon haven't tried anything from that house there is one that i'm curious about but now it's discontinued it's called ambergris um yeah i don't really see it i used to see it on online web shops before um, but not anymore so here's Nina Ricci Rose Extays. I bought that uh, not too long ago. Also have reviewed it. Here, they have a lot of Calvin Klein Euphoria here as well. More Limperatrice. A must have definitely in my collection for sure. Okay, now we can see here some Jimmy Choo perfumes. Another house that, again, I don't really pay that much attention to. There's one that I kind of like, the Jimmy Choo Low, I think it's called, or Low Floral. It's a nice little green bottle. Very fresh and clean and green. <laughs> Hugo Boss Deep Red, 30 euros. Ellie Saab, Le Parfum. I think my favorite is the, yeah, the original Le Parfum. But again, another house I don't really pay attention to. And I probably should. DKNY Golden Delicious. So that was that entire area. Now I'll be heading over to the clearance area where they had some gift sets. This one is a nice set of SJP Lovely, which I think is probably one of the best or well, one of the better celebrity scents for sure. I see again some more Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, roller balls NYC stash and then I didn't see the other ones but yeah I think um, when it comes to celebrity scents I think Sarah Jessica Parker is probably um, the best or one of at least my favorite from Sarah Jessica Parker is probably stash Oh, I just wanted to look at that because they had those cute fruit um, coasters. So now we just have some like other random stuff, as you can see. Oh, now we have a gift set of NYC. I really like that one, you guys. It's a nice watery raspberry, I don't, yeah, raspberry, strawberry kind of perfume. Katy Perry, Killer Queen. what else we got here some guest perfumes my mom owns that one she likes that one that that guess uh, in the brown box i have smelled it it's not bad but it's not really it's not it's not great it's not bad either it's just pretty average and then this section here you get 50 percent off of the lowest price so we see some more katy perry here and David Beckham, I'm not sure what that is, SoCal, 
some Mex perfumes. But yeah, so anyways, this video is now coming to an end. I'd like to thank all of you for joining me on my shopping trip. I will reveal in a future video what I actually bought from here. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.